it comes to watching a webinar video, there's nothing more annoying than a shaky handheld camera shot that just doesn't seem to keep stable. A camera shot that either zooms in and out rapidly or is just shaky and handheld is not going to make for the best quality video. In most cases, you're probably going to be shooting the video yourself just in front of a camera. So in that case, you're going to need some way to stabilize the camera. And that's easily done with a tripod. Now, this is a, a very solid, stable tripod that, um, well, it goes very tall and it, and it compacts down very small. So it's easily portable. I can put it in a suitcase, uh, but it, it, uh, at full extension, um, comes up to about my eye level and I'm six feet. So uh, this is a very good, strong, sturdy tripod. There are uh, tripods on the market that have what is called a quick release plate. And this allows you to mount this plate to a camera bottom and it'll make it much easier to put the camera on and off the tripod. Now, it's not a necessary feature, but it's certainly helpful if you're going to be taking the camera on and off the tripod a lot. So this is one type of tripod that you can get that's very stable, sturdy, extends to a good height, and allows you a lot of versatility in terms of different angles. Um, it locks into place. It doesn't, um, it doesn't make any noise when I try to move it. You know, if I, if I pan and tilt, it does it very smoothly. I think that's very important, not because you'll necessarily have somebody running it, and you might, but, um, but actually because you can easily, with a twist of the fingers, lock down the shot so it doesn't move around. So that's one type of tripod to use. Now there's another kind of tripod that I'll recommend that if you're in a more portable situation where, or where you need to be more portable, this is a Gorillapod. And this is another alternate means of, of stabilizing a shot, uh, but you can use it anywhere. Of course, this is a bit bulkier, heavier. I did say it, it folds down enough to go into my suitcase, but perhaps if I only have a backpack on, I don't want to be carrying around a bunch of tripod equipment or other gear. So this Gorillapod is very handy because in addition to being very um, flexible in terms of uh, uh, getting a, a low shot or standing it up more, it's also bendy so I can twist it around a pole or a, uh, a rail if I, if I just, you know, am outdoors and, and need a quick place to shoot, it's very easy to, uh, to control this. The other thing about this one is it has a bubble level on it, which is very handy um, for knowing that my shot is level. And also, it too, like this tripod, has a quick release plate, so this can be mounted on the bottom of my camera, and I can easily put my camera on and off of this Gorillapod. So these are a couple of easy options for using a tripod. Now, when it comes to using a webcam, most webcams are made to fit over a computer screen or something like that. So they often just have an angled bracket as opposed to a tripod mount. Now you can modify this uh, using a little bit of MacGyver technology to, uh, to mount this to other things, but for the most part, this is going to do best sitting on top of something. If you're going to be using a, uh, a mobile camera, a uh, point-and-shoot camera, this can easily be locked on to a tripod through the base. And even if you're using your cell phone camera, um, such as mine right here, um, there are special adapter cases that you can get that allow for a tripod mount to be put on. This little clip is just an adapter and now my camera, my phone, uh, is able to be easily put on to a tripod for locking down the shot. So that's just a few options when it comes to stability and tripods. Now let's go into talking about backgrounds and lighting.